Okay, so Starfield is finally here, so how about we improve on our gaming experience by improving the game just the way we like it? This is the first of our Starfield Mods weekly series where I'll take a look at the popular mods for the week and talk about how they improve your game experience while showing you exactly what the mod does and how it looks in game. Each mod will have its own chapters. You can skip ahead to the ones you're most interested in. So with that out of the way, let's begin, shall we? The first mod we'll talk about is Achievement Enabler by Brumph. This simple file will make it so we can improve on our gaming experience in whatever way we feel like, and any achievements we accomplish will still be seen by Steam. Considering that many of us will be modding this thing into the stratosphere, including this might be a good idea if you like achievement hunting. Next is Skip Launch Video by Aetherpoint. The description says it's a simple mod that replaces the original logo with a video with a single frame, so instead of this... You get this. It's a very simple mod that actually saved me a lot of time when I was restarting Starfield so often by loading and unloading the next mod for testing. I imagine that if you decide to mod your own game, it'll save you just as much time when you eventually need to fix something. Next is a visual mod. Neutral LUTs or LUTs by Fading Signal removes the various color filters from the game. Depending on where you are in the game, you might see a lot of yellow, blue, green, or in some cases it just takes away from the beauty of the game. It's a little clunky, but if you like how the inside of a ship looks, but hate the atmosphere of a planet in vanilla, you can delete or remove the file that changes the ship interior to keep its default look. Navigating all of the files might be a little annoying, but trial and error will be your friend until someone makes a mod that lets you change it on the fly. They also included some custom changes to space, and personally I like the blackness of space compared to the blue-hued filter that was present in vanilla. I'm actually looking forward to the mods that are going to add nebulas and other gas clouds to the skyboxes, so that's going to look great. And now we have the Starfield Upscaler by Pure Dark. This is for NVIDIA users who want to utilize DLSS for Starfield. If you didn't know, NVIDIA DLSS is a program that uses AI to boost image quality and improve frame rates. It's a bit of tech wizardry that I'm not really that well versed in, but for those of us who want to use DLSS in Starfield, well, no, it's an option that works pretty well. Uh, my rig is actually pretty decent, so I didn't really need or see any differences when I swapped between the presets, but I imagine that if you need to use the setting, you're definitely going to see results. And finally, we have Better HUD by Cowmat. This bad boy does a lot of things depending on the file you choose to install with Vortex. You can disable enemy health bars and hit markers, change the banners that appear when you discover a location or gain XP, change the crosshair to a dot, remove the mark that appears when you hit an enemy, you can hide the XP gain altogether and change the location banner. You can mix and match the files for the layout you find most ideal, but make sure you use the ones marked for each category only once. On the download page, some files will say use this instead of this file, so just pay attention to that. I'm sure we'll get a more customizable HUD in the future or one that looks really, really good, but this is a very nice addition to hide some of those annoying things to help improve our Starfield experience now. And that's it. Those are the top five mods available for the launch of Starfield. It's literally only been one day and there's like 170 mods out right now. So I imagine that there's going to be a lot more coming out within the week. So you can be sure I'll be covering the best ones when they come up. So why don't you sub to the channel so you don't miss more of those mod videos in the future. But in the meantime, why don't you let me know what mods you're waiting for in the comments below. I think we're all dying for a better inventory system, so that's number one in my wish list. But for now, we're done here. So like the video if you liked the video, dislike it if you disliked it, and until next time, I'm Space Coconut, and you're welcome. <laughs>